Okay, so let's go to... Back to the area. You know what I mean. I can't remember the names of the areas. The Blossoming... Arcadia. Since we've only got 16% of stuff there. That's crazy. Like, actually crazy that we only have that many things there. I mean, we did... A bit, I guess. But there's so much. <laughs> Zero to 100 immediately. Need to really explore a lot more. Also, we need to collect a lot more uh, materials since I spent a lot of it. Also. Oh, hello. Blue Toad, come in. Over. Ochi has never really liked getting wet, but I've been working on it with him in the bathtub aboard the SS Shepherd. And last night, he had a big breakthrough. Your rescue pup can swim. Does that just happen after a certain amount of days? I guess so. Now that he's over his dislike of water, he can jump in and use doggy paddle to swim through any water obstacle. Get on Ochi's back with the Pikmin, and you can ride across bodies of water to explore new areas. Well, that's really helpful. Especially right now. Uh, anyway. I think I could have done that over here. This thing. Also, is that a water gate? I think that's a water gate. There are so many things. There's also all of these here. I should probably try exploring the surface as much as possible. Can I get up there is another question. Should probably get these resources. There's a timed thing down there. I have to get past these two enemies here though, which you can actually see on the map, which is quite helpful. Another water gate. Another dungeon. Another one of those. Interesting. Also, I think that's a, a wall we have to blow up, so we have to do that as well. We have some bombs for that, so that'll be good. Uh, but let's start by getting out some Pikmin. Please. Please. Apparently we can just bark by pressing A randomly. Do I want to bring up my blues? Maybe it's probably fine. <laughs> I'd say confidently. What's the worst that could happen? Right? Oh, so there's a dungeon right there. I didn't even see it because it was underneath or behind the things, but yeah, it's right there. Also, there's this up here. Well, some of that failed. I don't know how. But we'll try and get that back. Dirt mound completed. Very nice. Got a cave already. Gonna wait for that probably to start off. Just because it's usually better to start that after doing other stuff. Just we have more time, I guess. Also, how did that fail so badly? Try again. There we go. It's fine. We have a dungeon. Let's also... Command Ochi. Gather Pikmin. And we'll keep moving on. There's a treasure right there, but there's also that thing. Oh! So onion color determines Pikmin type. Yes, that's right. This thing looks bad. I might want Ochi for this, so I can charge it all at once. Ride, please. This is going to be really bad if I lose all my blues. It's frozen, and we got it. Nice. Very nice. Let's get that. That's actually great. This seems suspicious. But I think we can dig up this, whatever it is, at some point, maybe. Maybe right now? Yes. So let's try and get that. The harmonica, which is cool. Let's get those as well. There's a lot to process. We're just going to take some time. There's also a bunch of enemies here. Trying to be careful about this. 
Come on. Let's get it with the rest. Almost. Oh, it's fine. That was close. More enemies, but I might want to take my time on that. If I can. Oh, oh, bad. C call your Pikmin when these things show up, because they just scare your Pikmin to death. That's all they do, I'm pretty sure. But they're not good, so... Well, so that just works, apparently. Um, we can try taking these out. There's also a thing in the water. Let me look at that, at the very least. Oh, it's that thing. Right, I can't really get that. Also, I doubt Ochi can carry things out of the water at the moment. Please, thank you. Just gotta freeze it again. Okay. How's Ochi going? Is he on his way back? No, he's still going that way. Cool. Don't get him. Please. Thank you. Come on. Freeze him. Thank you. Okay, good. Very nice. We get it back. Not quite. Almost. There's a whole bunch of stuff up here, but there's also that sprinkler. Which is the main problem. Gonna want our Pikmin stuff. There's also a bunch of Wally hops here. Okay. Command. Gather Pikmin. We can try taking out one of these. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I always take too long because I throw not enough Pikmin on it to start. But it's fine. Let me get that back. And I guess I can get whatever this is in there. Oh, hello. You came a lot faster than I thought you would. Also, Bomb Rock. Interesting. I mean, that's good for us. Also, how are we supposed to deal with this with other stuff happening? Hang on. Give me a minute. I'll come back to that in a second. Also, whoa, hello. Another thing in the ground. Let's undig that. Also, is this a water gate? No, it's a cool gate. Hang on. Give me a minute. Give me a second. It's a frozen gate. I was not expecting that, but that makes sense, so... More sense than the water gate that I was, that I was talking about. The thing that we have to... The sprinkler is kind of more of a water gate than that... Whatever that is, so... Ice gate. Okay, let me... No, hang on. I don't know what I'm doing. Disband. Okay, let's see what we can do. I think I want to take out the Wally Hop first. Okay. Come on, not quite. There we go. Got it. Now we can do with the sprinkler. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Maybe not. How would I deal with this? I don't know. It's a good question. Uh, how many do we need for this? 50. Oh. I mean, surely there's a way to stop this. Maybe. Also, there's a base up here. Interesting. Very interesting. Swooping snitch bug. Let's get rid of that. It already stole one of my ice pikmin. Nicely done. Ah, uh, where's Ochi? There. Does he have something? Oh no, I just left him there, didn't I? Ah, uh, okay. Well, let me call back these pikmin here. And get Ochi to get the rest. It's a helpful thing to do, so... 
Got a bunch of these, which we can collect. Also, there's Hello, that. Probably wanna... Yeah, uh, you can move my base over here, probably. Just let me... Oh, hang on, that's a monster. Let's think about this. I didn't realize it was a monster for a bit. And I'm, I'm, I mean, I could I could have known by looking at the the, the way the, the flower is blinking. But the only reason I noticed is just because it's in the base and it's obviously a monster. No! Oh! I'm eaten! Thrash. Please. Oh boy. Get out of there. Oh boy. I really need them to land on it and actually attack it. This thing is rude. Rude to the extreme. Okay, there we go. Please, 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 please. Not quite. Move. Oh, really? Of course my other Pikmin arrived at that moment. Move base. Let's get this stuff. Just because we're losing Pikmin. Might as well make up numbers somewhere else. I don't know if I can get the... the thing in the sprinkler, unfortunately. Need to figure out something else for that, possibly. Unless this is activating the sprinkler. Or something? What is it doing? We're building something. Okay, I thought this was collecting parts, but no, it's we're building something. I did not expect that. We can also build this over here as well. Spending a lot of materials, but we're gonna this is gonna be helpful for us. There's a lot of stuff we can do. Nope, let them go. Let them do their thing. It's fine. What is that? Oh, it's a, a nozzle thing. A tiny thing. You know what I mean. We can turn off the sprinkler. That's actually helpful. I'm learning. Good work. You stopped the water. A tap would be correct, probably. I don't know. Ah, uh, we need all of this. We need more than this, even. Just give me a minute. I'm really slow at this. <laughs> it's fine. There's a lot of shortcuts we can activate as well, that I might want to get. Let me see if I can freeze this. Come on. Bash it, bash it, bash it, bash it, bash it! Please! Not quite. No! No! My Pikmin! Are they fine? Probably not. Oh well. I really should be trying to use different Pikmin for this right now. Okay, we're running closer to the end of the day, so we probably want to get something done soon. Like going into a cave. Just because that's kind of productive. More productive than dying on the surface. A whole bunch. Also, we still don't have that thing back. Right. Need to actually hurry up. There we go. Get that as well. And those. Can I also make the speed up, please? That'd be good. To do. Man, it's gonna be really weird to come back to this game in the future and be better at it. And be way more efficient. Also, am I Pikmin coming back to this? I thought they did. Maybe they... Maybe those were the ones that came back, I don't know. Ah, uh, but I think we're gonna have to go find a dungeon now. Gonna have to change base a little bit though. Get around faster. Probably. Let me actually look at the map to think about this. Um, I probably want to also build that. 
We could also just ju jump off the edge there, couldn't we? Interesting. If we go down here, we can get to that and do that challenge. There's also that one there. We really haven't unlocked as much as I thought that we did. It's really just that dungeon there that we haven't done yet. Also, there's another monster there? That's just the butterfly. Okay. I'm fine. There's also another butterfly there. Um, hang on. I'm gonna try the, the challenge. Even though it's kind of a later thing. Let me try it now. Hello, Leaf. <laughs> you know, you know me. Also, we're not going to be taking our Pikmin with us, so it probably doesn't matter what I do. And also, if I can uh, repair this bridge at some point, that'd be good. Actually, maybe it's not a good idea to do this right now, because we're probably not going to get anything out of it. We'll get a castaway, but we're not going to get a de-leafed de one. Ah, it's that leafling! Be careful! That could be the one who attacked Dingo. Yeah, that's definitely them. Which means that could be Bernard on the ground next to them. Not for much longer. <laughs> Whoever it is, we can't let them get turned into a leafling. Follow them. Okay. I can't say I'm going to be good at this, but let's try this. Five minutes. Pikmin present. Ice Pikmin. Interesting. But how long was the difficulty? That's the real question. Battle in a box. Two fire difficulty. Oh boy. If this is like insane compared to the one, one flame difficulty, we're in trouble. Big trouble. I mean, we already are in big trouble. So you have come again. Those who do not embrace Dandori cannot survive this planet. But if they grow the leaves, we can return them to life. Also, I wonder if these special battles are in a specific order. So you, maybe if you did this one first, it'd be the same as the last one we did, or if it like, I don't know. But anyway. I will determine if you have the strength to save them with a Dandori battle. But this time, there will be one more rule. Bonus finds. One must be ready to change tactics at a moment's notice. So the bonus in the middle is worth twice as much. Interesting. This round, an object or creature's value can increase for a brief window. These high values make them bonus finds. And I'm imagining I probably want to get them before the opponent every time, probably. Because otherwise they're going to score way much, way, way more. When you transport and collect the bonus finds, you earn double the points. Do you think you can out Dandori me? I hope so. Man, it's so weird not having the full screen in single player. Just as a reminder, game. Please. It's fine. Also, upgrading... Uh, what's this, what's it called for this is probably really helpful. Maybe? I'm assuming the upgrades that we've had are going to be super helpful for stuff. Also, there's a bonus already over there, but we need to be better. Much better. I really wish making more Pikmin was worth points, but I can understand why it's not. I really need that double. I need that bonus. Let me try taking this out. If we freeze it, it won't be worth anything, I'm pretty sure. Won't it? I'm pretty sure, I don't know. Okay, frozen. Yeah, it makes nectar, which is interesting. I can use that. We should have upgraded more dig. Oh well, we'll get that. We're currently in the lead. I'd like to also increase my Pikmin numbers if I can. Also, it's interesting that shows us, because we have the upgrade that shows us how much... Uh, how many Pikmin are just standing around. We can actually see that. 
on their side as well. Okay, we're getting that back. Breaking down this wall, maybe. We might be able to get to theirs, actually, if we're fast enough. But we're probably not going to be. Also, they're breaking down the wall for us now, so that's also good. Probably. They got the doubler. Can I send you to break this as well? Looks like it. Oh, it's changed to bulb, bulb, bulb. But we also can't take that out unless we do specific things. You can have that. I'm going to take this, personally. Try and get that as well. Thank you all for your cooperation. We have a ton of points right now. This is a good match. I agree. Although I could be doing better, probably. Those are your Pikmin, right. It's a little bit hard to distinguish just by flower color and leaf color. Okay, getting a whole bunch of bonuses. It's gonna be crazy in the harder difficulties. Let's get the strawberry. Also, three times? Three times bonus? That's also really crazy. Might want these apples though. Please don't kill my Pikmin. Oh, they can. They really can. Let's flower those up because we want them. So why are they attacking me? That's just rude. Let's get some more Pikmin. And get that as well. We're doing pretty good right now. We have double their points, so... And I think having them on our stuff is actually really good for us because it slows them down. That's something else to consider. Also, how is this worth more? Because if we get it back, it's going to be converted to more Pikmin. That's actually interesting. That's kind of val a valuable Pikmin. In a way. Uh, I don't think I can steal that. Also, please don't kill me. There's a lot of these things here. Get that. We have a lot of points. Wow. Having a lot of Pikmin really helped out with this. We have 41 right now. Let's just get what we can from middle. They're worth three times as much, so... Might be able to steal their strawberry. Just do what I can. All well, this time left. There's 30 seconds left, so... We have almost double the score again. Maybe it gets more Pikmin, I don't know. More Pikmin is always good. If I send Ochi to do that, he'll be doing that for a while as well, though. It's fine. I feel confident with nine seconds left. Please? Help out. Okay, there we go. Okay, that went well. I was expecting it to be a lot harder, based on how much we had- I mean, well, the first one wasn't that bad, but we struggled a lot more with the first one, I think. Very nice. You dominated by at least a hundred. Is that platinum? <laughs> Is it really gonna be different medal rewards? I don't know if it matters, though, overall. Again, you have shown mastery in the art of Dandori. I leave the rest to you. Although I assume we can also go back to old ones as well, possibly, with the upgrades that we get. So that's also probably good. Thank you for the man. <laughs> the leafling. Hmm, off they go again. Thankfully we recovered the castaway safe and sound. Impressive victory. I wouldn't say safe and sound, but you can say that if you want. I really wouldn't say safe and sound. Not in this situation. This is a long loading screen, wow. <laughs> I mean, this is a fairly big area, so... Do we have to carry this back, or is it just good? Transport the castle wave to the SS Beagle, ASAP, Blue Toad and Ochi. Okay. Let's just go with that. Good thing we moved the camp, I guess. Please get it. Also, something else that's going to be a problem is if we move the camp while there's Pikmin there, and then the time runs out for the day. That's going to be really bad for us. 
I mean, if I move it now, quickly, we can make them go over this way and it'll be fine. Because this is where we want our base at the moment, so. Also, there's a thing up there, that's interesting. We might be able to get to that, but not now, so. I mean, I wish it was easier to get more Pikmin onto the thing so they go faster, but it's probably fast enough at the moment. I also really want to get the blue onion. Maybe Ross will have more success get, uh, getting that information. Maybe? Unable to read data. Huh? Does that mean you want that you... <laughs> I'm bad at trying to get this voice back. You want someone becomes a leafling. Their biometric or... Authentication data becomes unreadable? If even science is unable to solve this problem, then I'm afraid I'm at a loss. I still don't think I'm getting his voice right. Oh well. Sightless passage, a cave of utter darkness, into which almost no f uh, light filters. I explored for a bit, relying on the glowing mushrooms to guide the way. But I turned back to avoid unnecessary risk. I wish I had a better headlamp, which we do have currently, at my disposal. I'm starting to regret this bargain buy. Let's go. Also, that's a Game Boy Advance game. Poggers. Recommended types, red and yellow. Let's go. I appreciate that it gives us... Like, it's... it's this, this, this game's fascinating. Also, there's no onions in here. But it's fascinating the way it recommends the different Pikmin types, because this whole area here, the overworld for this area, is like no reds, but in the cave, it is red. At least for this one. It's really cool. Now, let's probably not go down the ledge. Also, is this a one floor dungeon? Maybe, but it looks big. Yeah, it looks very big. We can also walk over these to make more light. Also, that's a bad... Let me get rid of you. There's a whole lot to this. And I like it. I like the dungeons in this. It's a huge step up from Pikmin 2. Dungeons. A huge step up. Also, whoa, hello. Let's take care of that. And get... This. This looks really cool. Is this like a mini Game Boy Advance? Or mini... Well, maybe it's like a, a special Game Boy thing. I don't, I don't... Like, it doesn't say Advance, so I've not seen this before, but this is really cool. A lot of these are going to be references to different Nintendo things, which is really cool. They did the same thing in uh, Pikmin 2 as well, which is also really cool. And also a lot of other things that they've had to rebrand in the Switch version of Pikmin 2. Because they wanted to make it not... Branded, basically. So they put in generic brands, which is alright. It probably makes sense in the long run. It also allows them to make their own fake companies stuff. If they really wanted to. Which I always approve of fake companies and like hidden lore things. I don't know. Just build it into the lore more. Oh, so there's Pikmin here. Interesting. We also can start plucking Pikmin by pressing. Like, while we're on Ochi, which is nice. We don't have to get off of Ochi to start plucking. This is very ominous. If we see a water rather, I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see one of those for a while. Oh, Pikmin. No, Pikmin. These enemies are the worst. And traps are really going to be a problem, aren't they? A big problem. There's another thing over there. There's so much. There's a whole bunch of... Um... Landing spots. Like, I love the way that they do these caves. <laughs> it's incredible. 